The news summary, good evening. The Minister for Employment and Social Affairs, Minister Patricia Franco, visited four more farms today at Val d'Or, Belaza, and at Ansoyal. This makes a total of 11 farms she has visited in the south of Mahé over the past six weeks. The objective is to have a hands-on experience of employment issues faced by local farmers. Part of our visit is to be able to uh, bring agriculture sector to another dimension so that it becomes uh, an area where I believe the youth, the next generation, should start um, looking at and, and pondering um, to take it as also a career. We also have to look at favorable uh, conditions for the workers to have to be able to work. So today we've had excellent examples of where the conditions are very favorable in terms of living conditions, but also um, their own needs uh, in terms of hygiene. But uh, we've also looked at some conditions where uh, there needs to be improvements. At the end of the day, uh, you know, for your people to stay on, on in, in employment at your uh, firm, the conditions also must be uh, um, conducive. So the findings that we've had over the, 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 four, the three visits will help us to be able to accumulate um, the necessary steps for us to be able to move forward in partnership with the Ministry of Agriculture and other partners so that we can actually um, support um, agriculture more. There is a technical team that is going to be established. We've always said we want to support agriculture and employment mm -hmm. department believes in this very strongly. So it's how to give the support. After all, this is a very important sector. We mustn't forget that it is uh, for food security that our country needs. COVID has taught us a lesson. The minister responsible for tourism, Sylvestre Radegonde, has said that, the, that contrary to expectations, 40% of visitors to Seychelles stay in small establishments. Minister Radegonde made the comment while visiting several self-catering apartments and hotels in the Ansoyal district this morning. He said that the establishments are of are of high standards, both in terms of infrastructure and service. He also visited a large hotel under construction at Ansoyal next to the petrol station. The professional centers are to form a think tank where they will exchange ideas on the best ways to become autonomous. The initiative to form this group comes from the directors of two professional centers, namely the Guimorel Institute and the Seychelles Business Studies Academy. In a ceremony at the Guimorel Institute at Majoie, the Minister for Education, Dr. Justin Valentin, officially endorsed and launched the institutional autonomy think tank. I applaud TGMI and SBSA for setting up the tone. I will support and encourage conversations and actions that gets institutions to take control on the research, training, and professional development agenda within the limit of their available funding. As a social scientist, I acknowledge and will defend your trial and error experiment as long as they are based on tactical grounds. Lastly, I expect that you strive to leave your autonomy within an accountability and responsibility framework. I wish you all a fantastic and rewarding journey as a team. And on behalf of the Ministry of Education, I now launch this institutional autonomy think tank and set the tone for more growth within tertiary education arena in the Seychelles. The Seychelles Police Force have received its first drone, a donation from the National Institute for Science, Technology, Innovation. The drone is expected to assist the police with their operation, especially search and rescue. It comes equipped with a speaker function, a spotlight and thermal infrared, which can detect body temperature. NISTI's CEO, Xavier Estico, presented the drone to the police commissioner, Ted Babe, in the presence of the 
Minister for Internal Affairs, Errol Fonseca, and the Minister for Investment, Entrepreneurship, and Industry, David Cavidote. The government is aiming to cut down on fraudulent activities at the level of customs and subsequently collect the right amount of tax. This is being done initially through an agreement called Cooperation and Mutual Assistance in Customs Matters, signed between Seychelles and the United Arab Emirates. Principal Secretary for Trade, Celia Mongru, said that the UAE, Dubai specifically, is a major trade partner. but an increase in trade between the two countries has also seen an increase in fraudulent activities. With the increase in trade, we have also seen an increase in fraudulent activities under invoicing non-declaration of goods. We, through customs, they have managed to get the information from UAE. But because we did not have a formal agreement, it sometimes took quite a while to get the results of the investigation from their side. Now, because it takes long, uh, the clown that brought in the goods, being it their at fault or not, it took a long time for them to get a reply. We aim to be more efficient as government and in customs, and we would like to have results faster. And we would also want to have more investigation being done in a more formal manner. Like I said, um, the UAE government might not be aware of what is happening because they might get the correct invoice from the company, but we might be getting the other invoice. So it's easier to cross-check what they have in their system now with what we have in our system. So hopefully going forward, this agreement will assist us in this area. We also have under this agreement what we call technical assistance provisions, which will assist customs officers and the, and the government and the country in our strategic reform of customs and modernizing the system. We are moving to paperless, and as we know, UA is, is very good with these matters when it comes to border control. And as much as we have our capacity, it's always good to build capacity. It's always good to learn about the new modern system, we might also have the chance to send some customs officers in uh, Dubai or Abu Dhabi to learn on the job. So these are areas where we are trying to help with the strategic reform that we have identified that we want to have at customs. And that's it for the news summary. We'll be back at 8 for the Creole Bulletin. Bye-bye for now.